What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon, what was it, Brown Walkthrough, yeah, Brown Walkthrough, and well, it is finally time for us to move on right here, apparently we need to go into the next town, and it really doesn't take much to go to the next town, all you need to do is cross this grass right here, mm-hmm, you might find a Pokemon here and there, you can't go in the back of this area right here, but if you go through this area, you can talk to this gentleman, he's like, are you working on the Pokedex? Professor Tim's aide came by here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go right ahead and see where Professor Tim's guy is. And there he is. Let's see what you can actually give us. And he's like, hi, remember me? I'm Professor Tim's aide. If you've got 50 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an experience all. So, Draven, have you caught at least 50 kinds of Pokemon? Well, technically I'm close because off screen I've been catching a lot of Pokemon, but no. I got 39 of those little bastards, and well, I don't really need the experience hall, especially in Generation 1 games. They're terrible. Terrible. So we look into the binoculars, and look at that, it's a part of Johto, and if you go right here, and well, a strange flying Pokemon is flying through to Mount Boulder. Hmm, wonder what kind of Pokemon that is. Okay, so let us move on right here, and go into the next town. As you can see, it's easy as that. Notice. If you're lost, refer to your town map. And I think this is like... Yeah, this is one of the games where I am on the town map all the time because... Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. So as you can see right here, we are in Jeru Town... Or Jeru, Jeru City. And... Well, there's a Pokemon Center close by. Let's go ahead and start talking to people. If you go up north, you will end up at the Region League. Hmm. Cool. Alright, let's see what we got right here. Uh, Pokemon trainers pass by here often on their way to Region League. Well, it looks like that we're going to have to go here at some point once we get all badges. I know trainers from all around the world. Alright, okay, alrighty. Well, he knows everybody. And, well, let's see. There is a Pokemon gym right here. I wonder what this would be. The j -Root City Pokemon gym leader, Sparky, the Pokemon trainer that gives a shock to all. So, apparently, this guy might be the third gym leader. Because yeah, it kind of looks like that. So we're gonna we're gonna battle him in just a little bit. We just need to take a visit right here. And well, if you go in here, this is the bike shop. I don't think we do have a. Yeah, we do not have the bike voucher. Need to find that little thing. Probably gonna have to go off screen and just find it. And well, let's see, Jerry City, the Hoppy Town. Or is it Happy Town? Hoppy or Happy? I don't know. Did you hear the news? No, I didn't. Team Rocket took over the warehouse nearby. Oh wow. And I got a ground Pokemon from Silk Tunnel, but it still hasn't, uh, it, it still wasn't good enough to beat Sparky. Huh, okay. So, this is the other area right here. This is the next route, which, you know, you'll actually get to battle some Pokemon trainers right here. Uh, this route right here, let's go back to the map, is Route 59, and it will go into the next city. So, we're going to save that for the next episode, and we're going to just uh, continue visiting on right here. Now, there's a section right here that you can actually go up to, I think. Oh, look at that. It's like a maze. Holy crud. Okay. Let's see what's going on right here. Look at that. And, oh, damn. This is, uh, this is rather new. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, go right here. Look at that. This actually gets us to the Pokemon League, or the Region League. Path to the Region League entrance. Huh. So they literally made it into a, uh, a maze right there. That's, that's pretty smart. That's very, very smart. Okay, so the next battle will have to be against the, re uh, the town's gym leader. So what I'm going to do right now... You know what? I think I've already bought the, the potions off screen. Hold on just a sec. I think I did. Did I? Yes, I bought some Great Balls, and yeah, I got some Super Potions. So, we're going to be going into the next gym. Electric-type gym leader and all that. And, well, there he is. Look at that. Yo, champ in the making. Sparky uses Electric-type Pokemon, so you need to make sure that you pick the right kinds against him. Grass and ground Pokemon are good choices against him, which I do have. Uh, let's see. We're going to keep uh, Bruce Lee on standby. I brought back Ultra Psycho just for this little situation because, you know what, it's psychic powers can actually do something right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and start taking on some Pokemon trainers right here. So, leave now! Okay, alrighty. 
Okay, so here we go, taking on a sailor, and he's coming out with his Pikachu, level 24. Everybody's stepping up their levels, and well, you know what? Let's go right ahead and use the little, um, what should I call it, uh, the poison powder, leech seed kind of technique right here, because, uh, yeah. He's lowering our attack, and, well, we kind of need to just finish this guy with two attacks, well, three attacks in one hit. And here comes a quick attack from Pikachu, and well, that was a critical hit. Still getting poisoned, still getting hurt. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Okay, and here comes that body slam. So let's go straight for Razor Leaf. And well, we're still getting hit. Well, he's still getting hurt by poison. So this is a good combination in getting yourself a Bulbasaur. And well, here comes that Razor Leaf attack. And there goes Pikachu. Okay, alrighty. And Sunny's kicking butt. So here comes an Electabuzz. This is actually brand new. So I'm going to go straight to Bruce Lee because this looks like it's going to be a tough one right here. And Electabuzz itself is strong. So, you know what? Let's go with a counter. Oh, wow. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go with a counter. He's going to go with a quick attack. So we're going to return this little thing back at him. Look at that. And it's going to go double, I think. Look at that. Okay, so let's go straight for a double kick. Here comes a quick attack from Electabuzz. And... Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. He unleashed the beast right there. Okay. Alrighty. Bruce Lee is a force here. And, well, I'll talk to this guy. I'll never look down upon a kid again. Well, it's kind of funny. Kind of funny how you should do that and all that. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Uh, Bruce Lee needs a little bit of HP. And you know what? Chances are, let's see. I'm going to try Master just in case because if this game is just like Generation 2, then we might have a little bit of a an advantage against uh, Steel-type Pokemon right here. So here we go going up against a gentleman and he's coming out with a Raichu so these guys are dishing out the strong Pokemon right now so let's go straight for a fire punch there we go fire punch does its thing but you know what I'd rather paralyze this guy that way it gives me a little bit more of an advantage when it comes to speed this guy is just trying to lower my physical attack and here comes another body slam, and let's finish this guy off with a little flamethrower, but look at this. He's going straight for a, uh, oh, a thunder wave, and well, we're still fully paralyzed. This is where Raichu shines right here. Now, it probably would have been a good idea to actually come out with a, a rock type or something, but guess what? Raichu defeated, and Master is just growing levels like crazy. Okay. <laughs> Well, it turns out that they're coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right here, and, well, to me, I think I'm going to have to start buying some more Paralysis Heals because they could prove useful. Are you ready to rock? They probably are. Kind of are. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and take on Rocker, and he is coming out with him, well, with him with a Magnemite right here. Now, this is the part where I, what I want to test out. So let's go straight for a flamethrower, and it sounds like it is super effective. Steel types are, yeah. <laughs> Steel types are, are weak against these guys. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Sunny. Okay, alrighty. Let's go straight to Sunny. And, well, let's go... Let's go right away with the, you know, usual attacks, Razor Leaf and whatnot. And right now that Sonic Boom really hits us pretty hard. And, well, look at this. Critical hit. Critical hit. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. And Rocker has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, so here is the gym leader himself. And, well, before I do anything... Yeah, it looks like to me that I'm going to have to buy some Paralysis Heals because this looks like it's going to be one of those battles. Yeah, it really is. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back into the gym and it... Well, apparently you can buy a keg of beer here. So I bought some. It's pretty cool. And, well, let's see. We healed up the Pokemon. I am going to start off with Sunny herself because, well... I have a feeling this guy's going to try something dumb. 
Draven, are you the gym leader? Sparky, yes I am. What do you want to do? To do? Face me or something? Uh, yeah. Why do you even bother? My electric Pokemon are way too powerful for anyone. Especially you. Well, I'll see about that. Let's fight. I probably would have just, like said, just bring it. But here it is, guys. The third gym battle against Sparky. Kind of looks like a Surge. Kind of looks like Guile from Street Fighter. And here we are. Going up against a Raichu. And, well, we're going to do the combination right here. Just so we can lower this Raichu's uh, HP down. Because Raichus are fast. They are scary. And they do like to paralyze you if you have a little bit more of a speed advantage and whatnot. So there's a critical hit on the Thunder uh, thunder Shock. And here comes a Leech Life. Alrighty, so here we are. We're playing with some, uh... Yeah, we're playing with some games right here. And, well, he's coming with a Thunder Shock yet again. But... That's right. Getting taken care of. Look at that. So here comes a Body Slam. Takes a nice chunk out of that HP. And here comes a Thunder Wave. Knew it was going to happen. And, well, Poison. And it's going to get zapped. Okay, alrighty. So here comes a Razor Leaf. We're still going to win. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so say goodbye to Raichu. And Sunny grows to level 28, which is great. And... Here comes an Electabuzz, so now, let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. I kind of want to use this guy just for his, uh, you know, psychic capabilities and whatnot. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead, use a Confusion. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna have to beat this guy quickly. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Disable. I have a feeling I know what he's going to use. And it failed. Good gravy. Okay, so he's lowering my... Yeah, he's lowering my defense like nobody's business. So here's a... Yes, quick attack has been disabled. So he won't be able to do much. Except just lower my defense. So let's go right ahead and go for a try attack. Not effective. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out the Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Bruce Lee. Alright, bring it. And Lear is just coming back right here. So let's go straight for a double kick. This guy is going for an X speed. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, okay. And, well, let's finish this guy off with a little takedown. And, oh, God. There we go. Say goodbye. We win again. Okay. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 21. Bruce Lee kicking butt, taking names. And here comes a Jolteon. I am going to stay put with uh, with this homeboy right here. Let's go ahead and go with the Meditate. Jolteon right here, looking all mean. So we're going to Meditate to increase this attack and go straight for a double kick. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, Thundershock hits us pretty hard. But here comes a double kick. Kicking this guy even harder. And, well, let's go straight for one more. And here comes a Thunderbolt. Holy crud. Okay, so I did not expect that. Bruce Lee finally loses one. So, let's go straight to Sunny. I know it's par uh, paralyzed, but we could probably get some stuff off right here. Let's go straight for a Leech Seed. And, wow, we're fully paralyzed right here. There we go. So, either way you look at it, we're still going to win. So, let's go straight for a Razor Leaf. And look at that. Okay, alrighty. You're still gonna lose, homie. Razor Leaf for the win. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Jolteon defeated. And Sparky. No more. You weren't kidding, kid. Alright. Here, take Sparky Badge. The Sparky Badge? He named it after himself. That's hilarious. The Sparky Badge, named after yours truly, increases your Pokemon's speed and lets you use Fly. Well, anytime. Take this too. Yo, kid, make some room in your pack. Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta use one of these things right here. Uh, you know what? We can always buy a beer cake. Let's give that to Sunny. He is completely drunk and might not like us anymore. And, well, let's go ahead and grab whatever it is that he's giving us. And, come on, tell me, tell me. And there it is. We get ourselves the TM24. And this contains Thunderbolt. 
teach it to an electric type Pokemon. The next gym is in Castro Valley. My good friend Koji will give you a run for your money. Okay, alrighty. No way, no way. Okay. Alrighty, so that makes four badges. Really, they should have, uh, you know, they should have changed the order of this whole thing. So we're halfway there, guys. Koji is the next gym leader, and, well, it looks like to me that we're going to have to start training a lot more because, it, like, the levels are passing us by. We got to make a, yeah, we got to make up a, a, a nice team because eventually, holy crud, it's going to get tougher. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.